Hello, my name is Braden Deal and I'm a film composer. And in this video, I wanted to expound upon a subject that it will I'll be touching on in a video that it may already be out it, or maybe it's out after this. <laughs> we'll see what I do. But I made another video about backing up your uh, software settings, presets, uh, you know, things like that, your uh, software program settings on your PC or Mac, whatever system you're using, um, just to save your ass in case of a crash and loss of data of that such, of that, of that such. Does that make sense? But anyway, um, in this video, I wanted to just quickly touch on Cubase specific things that I will send if I make changes to my preferences or um, settings overall in Cubase, what I, what I back up, <clears throat> what I save versions of such that those will be included in those backups uh, when I make those. So anyway, really straightforward stuff uh, here in my template. I'm going to go up to Cubase, navigate up to the edit window, and these are like three of the four I'm racking my brain to try to think if there's more if so I'll include them later maybe but three of the four are right here profile manager I will if significant enough changes have been made to the settings those are contained in the profile manager basically the profile manager enables you to uh, you can export this and then take your settings to another person's system and use Cubase on their system and uh, activate all of your settings and not erase those because you just changed the profile. Um, not doing that a lot myself, but it's something I like to save just in case. And so I will, you know, go up here and either, I don't know, duplicate the one I had if for some reason I want to do that, but usually I just write over it because um, that's what I do. And, you know, so I'll rename. Uh, something easy that you can search if, uh, you know, you should save it in a place where you know where it is. But, you know, I always like to include uh, BDM for Braden Deal Music, Cubase Profile, and then uh, C circa the date. And then that way, if I'm looking for it later and it ended up in a weird place for some reason, I can just search that date. And there are only a handful of things that will have that date. And that should be one of them. And there you go. And then you just go to export. As you can see here, I'm exporting those to uh, the Steinberg folder in my documents, which is one of the things that gets backed up when I uh, back up my system settings. That's on my system, that not to an external hard drive, on my own uh, folder system. In my documents, just else, elsewhere. Uh, watch that video for more information on that. But that's one of the things. The other thing are, is the key commands. Key commands, and I'll make another video about this at some point, uh, various ones that uh, just learn, you know, learn all the key commands that there are and then make your own. It just makes you faster. It just makes you more efficient at what you're doing and are fantastic. If you find yourself like utilizing a feature a lot, find it on here. See if you can apply it, a key command to it that's easy to remember. Um, import audio and video is something I do all the time. And, and for whatever reason, when you get Cubase, those don't automatically have predetermined presets. Boom, make some of those. I do those all the time, so why not, right? Anyway, so over here, um, you could select previous presets, um, but kind of similar to the profile. I like to, if I you know make, make a preset uh, or a key command change or two, go over to save. And I'll type in something like bring deal music key command circa whatever the date is, and then save that. And then that will be the presets are saved uh, somewhere in the documents on your system should be, and you can do a quick search and, and be able to find those. But that's the second thing. The third thing are the preferences. That's pretty self-explanatory. Preferences. There we go. Um, and the preference presets can be found down here and saved there and will save in a similar way to the key commands. And the last thing is the plugin report manager. I like to save. I do a lot of, uh, as you can see, kind of organizing, saying organized is the best way to stay fast and efficient. And I have uh, lots of effects plugins that I like to use. Not as much as some, but it's a humble collection of mine. And I will click plug in report and then, you know, type in like I've done previously the obvious 
brain deal music, you know, plugin manager, circa, whatever, and then save that. And then I've, I've got the ability to access that later. Should I need it? Uh, just in case, um, something goes wrong with the system. So yeah, those are, um, as you go along, uh, four things, for example, that you can save archive and then eventually back up multiple times, hopefully redundancy is your friend. Um, and, uh, these are things that will, you know, in the event that hopefully it does happen in the event that something goes wrong, uh, help you get Cubase up and running back quickly again to the way you have it running or had it running previously that that was part of your workflow and made you most efficient. So anyway, hope that's helpful. I'll link another video um, below that is, like I said, I there's another video um, that goes over similar details. I'll link that as well just for further inspiration, I guess, or if you want to make sure no stone is unturned in this area and you can check that out that is also for windows so sorry mac users but um i'll link that as well and hit me up if you have any questions or if you found any other uh cubase features that are worth backing up i'd like to know about it so i can start doing it and thanks for watching